The Minster is a stable piece of York, offering tourists and locals a look into one of the UK's most historic buildings. But it's having a touch of the modern this week as a spectacular lights and sound display comes to town to illuminate the building like you may never have seen it before. Neil from the Minster Fund gave some context to the display and noted how it aids their vital fundraising. Yeah, so the Northern Lights Show was uh, created last year to uh, showcase the windows as part of a fundraising weekend um, and it was such a success last year we sold out Saturday night and Sunday night that we thought we would bring it back again this year so it's a light and sound spectacular um, which gives you a different perspective on the the Minster and helps us raise money for the important work of protecting the glazing and the glass work you'll see the Minster in a completely different light. So we've taken some of the imagery out of the medieval windows, we've taken some of the story and the narrative, and we've turned it into a modern setting using light and video projection. It turns the Minster the other way around, so we're projecting onto the west wall, and we've taken all the chairs out, so you get this feeling of vast space in a very modern context. He then touched on how the show has history at its core. This is what people would have done historically. All the way through history, people have found new ways of expressing the purpose of this building and the stories that are contained with it. When the glasswork was painted 700 years ago, it was the most modern technique. This is a way of expressing those same age-old stories today. Karen and Ross are the brains behind the incredible display and talked about what has gone into this. Oh, we've been working on this for a long time. I mean, the, for showing it last year, um, it was months, months of work, about a year. Um, we were preparing and looking and researching. There's a lot of research that's gone into this particular piece. Uh, we focused on the, st because the subject is the stained glass of the Minster, so we focused very much on that as the cent central core of what the piece is about and looked at the history of York. Um, I mean, there's just so, there's yeah. just so much I mean, we, here. we, uh, our works are normally based on uh, the place and its uh, relevance to the people of the city. Uh, and its place in the history of the city, and so we wanted to bring out the, the whole, you know, the vast range of uh, uh, of history that's passed through this place. You know, the Vikings, uh, the uh, the old uh, Anglo-Saxons, the old English, yeah. and uh, we've brought in a, a, a lot of text. All the text that you hear, all the voices that you hear here uh, being spoken, are uh, relevant to this space. Well, we we were trying uh, specifically. We, we know that when this place was built. Uh, it must have been, for, for somebody who lived in York, to walk into this place with the saturated stained glass, the bright, all the stonework was brightly painted, it must have been like going to, a, uh, you know, to, a, to an alien world. Uh, everything's brightly coloured, everything's huge, magnificent. So for a normal person at that time, it must have been utterly mind-blowing. And that's where we started. We thought, how can we give people that kind of feeling today? And that's what we've tried to do, to use the history of this place to give you that same kind of sensation. They then touched on their extreme pride at being the artist behind the show. Oh, wow, I think we're pretty blown away. To, be, to come back, I mean, to yeah. have such a huge success last year and to be asked back, and not just by anybody, but by the public, you know, that, that we're literally back here by public demand, which is, you know, fantastic, I think. Yeah. And you know we're in one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Yorkshireman, Sheffield, but not York. But uh, it's great to be working in a space like this. You know, one of the most magnificent buildings uh, you could ever have the pleasure to to be in. Attracting over two million visitors a year, this is an opportunity for viewers to see a spectacular display at a totally unique setting as the Northern Light Show stays for a week. Also, acting as a means for vital fundraising, the show has wide-ranging benefits. Reward. That's TV.